What's up guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to tell you guys how you can charge your battery using an extension cord. Now, it's not recommended, but I'll tell you how to do it safely. Uh, for the most part, it is safe, but I'll tell you a couple things. So typically, if you're using an extension cord, you want to check uh, how powerful this brick is. So for example, mine output wise is 58.8 volts and 4 amps. This comes out to be around uh, under 300 watts and most extension cords are rated higher than that. Now a couple things right to preserve your battery you're probably using it outdoor you're probably trying to charge it outdoor right just check the temperature so for example anything above 32 degrees that's good. For example, right now I'm using this thermal gun and where my bike is, it's around 64 degrees. That's totally normal to charge and your battery is going to heat up uh, as a result of it anyway. So you're probably fine. So let me show you the extension cord. So this is the extension cord I use. Um, it is rated for, let's see here. It's rated for 13 amps, right? And uh, well over the 300 watts. So 13 amps, 125 volts, 1600 watts. Um, you wanna use the ones that are typically rated for outdoor because they'll probably have a thicker coating on them and um, less likely to be damaged if you walk on it, kick it, trip on it, etc. So I'll show you guys the best way. One thing you want to do is make sure that this is not wiggling, right? Do not, if it's wiggling in the outlet, you're not going to use it. And then we're going to make sure this is all straight, right? You do not want it kinked up kind of like this, because what happens is, um, there's going to be a buildup and there's going to be heat generated here. You want this extension cord uh, straightened out. So, you know, you want it to pretty much not have any loops and whatnot in it during use. Again, it's fine. You're well under the rated limit, but I mean, realistically, you shouldn't. It's just best practice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out and I'll be back. So one thing is actually I typically unplug it here before I plug in to my bike here. So for example, everything's plugged in and then I'll just bring this cable up to my battery. And you know, I mean, my battery uh, sockets on the other side of here, but you plug in this first and then you plug in it. Now, if your battery for any reason because you're doing it outside in your garage and it's way colder than 32 degrees do not charge your battery because what happens is it's going to form crystals at those temperatures and uh, like i said um, this can damage your battery uh, and those crystals actually damage the membranes within it so i'm well within you know the temperature and I have battery cover uh, sometimes you can take that off while you're charging because your battery does get a little warm but if you're in a cold environment you can leave that on it's fine anyways that's how to safely charge your bike battery um, using an extension cord again it's fine as long as you are using um, extension cord right that is rated for at least what that's gonna output, right? So this is rated for 1600 watts. That produces well under that, around 300. So you're well within the limits. Again, making sure that your extension cord doesn't loop up uh, crazily, and you'll be fine, honestly. Don't buy anything cheap, and I'll see you guys next time.